Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Supervisor Kabicki, could you sign in, please? Thank you. We'll go ahead and open it up to citizen comments. If there are any citizens to speak, please step to the podium. You'll have five minutes to speak and state your name and address for the record. Are there any citizens to speak? Oh, they crossed their names off. I knew I was there. Hi, my name is Kit Stillwell, and I'm currently homeless. So, it's a sad day in America. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Speaking tonight is either going to get me killed, or it's going to save my life. It's a sad day in America when you have to report corruption in the justice system and the sheriff's department of Kenosha County, I am a whistleblower, and I was illegally arrested by Kenosha County deputies. I was accused of tackling somebody without their consent. Guess what? I wasn't even there. I was thrown in jail for five days. And so what happens is when I get out of jail, I have to go to a bond hearing. And Mr. Berman, writes an additional order. Could you tell me when I have a minute left, please? The state yes. already protects the alleged victim. He writes, I'm going to quote the words, no contact, including the resident of, and then it names two people, and one of them is out of the state. Well, I'm in jail for five days. I have no keys, no wallet, no money, no nothing. So I arrange with a friend to go get my property, but the way I read this order, I cannot go in the house. So, guess what? The sheriff's come and arrest me. I'm out on the street. They said I violated the order, but they had no court order with them. So, I go to jail, I go in front of Berman, and this is an employee of the county. He gets done talking, and he says, do you understand your conditions of bail? I'm like, no, otherwise I wouldn't be here. Guess what? He slams the thing down, jumps up, partway out of his seat, and says, that's it, your bail just went from $1,000 to $10,000 back in jail. And come back tomorrow and see if you know what, what your bail is. Is this incredible, folks? Is this America? I got arrested and thrown in jail for saying, I don't understand this. It's an incomplete sentence. This is incredible. I've been homeless for about 50 days now. I have lived, or I, I, I've stayed in vacant houses, I have slept in vans, and I have slept in deer stands, and I've slept in tree forts. Is this America? Who is overseeing your employees? This is the same Mr. Berman that I have a restraining order against me from KUSD because I'm a whistleblower, and KUSD is not even a human being. Mr. Berman, on the fifth day of court, he recuses himself because he figures out after the fifth day he worked for KUSD. He sends the case to Mr. Dallas, another employee of Kenosha County. So after several days of the hearing, Mr. Doss finds me guilty. I never had a chance to be heard. I never had a chance to bring in evidence or witnesses. Right on the state form, it says that the respondent had the opportunity to be heard. Doss signs it. He lies. Who is looking over these people? What is going on in Kenosha County? 
if this corruption has happened to me, I'm sure it's happened to other people before. So what happens in September, three officers come to arrest me for, vi left. for violating this. Anyhow, I'm going to make the long story short. So I ask four deputies, what is this order? What can't I do? I get four different answers. All right, the logical thing to do, ask Mr. Beth, what can't I do? I do not want to get arrested. He tells me he cannot answer that question because it's a legal question. Isn't that interesting? Four deputies already gave me four different answers. Then I go to get a statement form. Mr. Beth says, you can't have one. Now, here's what they're doing. On the statement form, it says in your own words, the sheriff, deputy sheriffs are writing out your statement and then they're signing it as the witness. So how does this happen? Violating the constitutional rights of the people? So you will be getting more information later, but I just wanted to bring this to your attention of the corruption that's going on in Kenosha County, and I think Mr. Beth has to be accountable. I know he's not an employee of Kenosha County, but everyone underneath him is. Thank you for my time, and you'll get more information. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Any other citizen comments? <clears throat> citizen comments? Any other citizen comments? Seeing none, we're going to close citizen comments. I have a couple announcements. Um, the first one is if anyone has a laptop that needs to be turned in tonight because you are not returning, um, IT is here tonight and they can collect that from you. The second is um, for the supervisors on your desk, there is something from the clerk. Um, I just want to talk about it briefly. Uh, this was sent in a plain envelope addressed to Supervisor Blau with the clerk's address. Um, handwritten on it and you've all seen this uh, this is very disappointing extremely disappointing anyone who would do this after an election is um, very childish in my opinion there is no place in our our uh, system for this um, I think that we are able to be adults and I think that everyone should start acting like adults so I don't know who did this um, I'm sure that it was someone out in the public. I can't imagine that there, it is anyone sitting in this room tonight. But uh, going forward, please be aware that um, the, the clerk has no problem filing a complaint with the state and with the DA. So that's all I had. Any supervisor reports tonight? <coughs> supervisor reports? Seeing no supervisor reports, we'll move on. Resolution 90, when reading from the Finance and Administration Committee, a resolution regarding the reorganization of the Division of Human Resources. Rose, yes. Ron Frederick, excused. Esposito, abstain. Gens, yes. Kabicki, yes. Dodge, yes. Retzloff, no. Supervisor Rose, you have the floor. Thank you. And on behalf of the Finance Committee, I would move the resolution for re reorganization of the Division of Human Resources. I have a first by Supervisor Rose and a second by Supervisor Gens. Supervisor Rose. Uh, thank you. For the past hour, we've heard the presentation, the details, the financing, the reasoning for it, the uh, model after the private sector. And uh, I don't think that there's anything really further that I can add that we haven't already discussed. And I would urge your support of it this evening. Thank you, Supervisor Rose. Any questions, comments? on the resolution. Thank you. Roll call has been requested. Seeing no questions or anything, um, yes if you are in agreement, no if you are not. Motion passes. Resolution 91 from the Finance and Administration Committee, a resolution 2017-2018 carryover and annual closeout. Rose, yes. Ron Frederick, excused. Kabicki, yes. Retzloff, yes. Esposito, yes. Dodge, yes. Gens, yes. Supervisor Rose, you have the floor. Thank you. I would move the resolution uh, for the carryover of funds from 2017 to 2018. 
2018 budget. I have a first by Supervisor Rose and a second by Supervisor Kabicki. Supervisor Rose. Uh, this is an annual and uh, traditional resolution adopted by the board. There are many items in prior year's resolutions such as this which need to be carried over because the project has not begun or it has not been completed, and, but there is full intent to do so. Uh, it also uh, ends up with uh, money going into the general fund and that has been uh, very positive uh, this year and we are ending the year on a very positive note. The specifics are listed in the resolution and I will, you, they, have, they are before you so I won't repeat them all. Uh, it does include of course the funding of a, a deficit in medical or health insurance. Uh, as well as uh, funding the uh, reorganization for the Department Division of Human Services. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor Rose. Seeing no lights, this is a budget modification. Motion passes. Resolution 92 from the Finance and Administration Committee, 2018 Information Technology and Land Service Resolution for recognizing additional expected revenue and modify expenditure budgets for serving host, server hosting and geographic information system, GIS. Rose, yes. Ron Frederick, excused. Dodge, yes. Esposito, yes. Gens, yes. Kabicki, yes. Retzloff, yes. Supervisor Rose, you have the floor. All right, thank you. I would move the resolution. I have a first by Supervisor Rose and a second by Supervisor Dodge. Supervisor Rose. Thank you. This is uh, uh, a approval of a additional services for summers. As you know, we uh, previously entered into an agreement with them to provide certain uh, information technology services. That is, with this resolution, going to be expanded with the additional $1,100 uh, uh, allocated to Kenosha County from summers to provide additional services as set forth in the resolution. It's a very good example of uh, cooperation between county government, a larger government, and uh, a smaller entity, the village of Summers. So on that basis, I would urge its adoption this evening. Thank you, Supervisor Rose. Seeing no lights, this is a budget modification also. Motion passes. Resolution 93 from the Human Service Committee, a resolution to approve the appointment of Everett Butler to the Kenosha County Commission of Aging and Disability Services. Gable, yes. Hallman, yes. Retzloff, yes. Blau, excused. Berg, yes. Poole, yes. Dodge, yes. Supervisor Gable, you have the floor. I move resolution 92. I have a first by Supervisor Gable and a second by Supervisor Hallman. Supervisor Gable. Resolution 93. Uh, Oh, 93. What was it? 93. Oh, I'm sorry. Now he, he, uh, he was before the committee and is, is very qualified for the job. Is this a reappointment? Yes. And have they missed a lot of... No. No? What is the attendance record? Uh, you know? I don't know offhand. No. Okay. Supervisor Rose, did you have anything? Uh, no, I didn't. I just didn't have my light. Okay. Supervisor Gens, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. I worked with Everett back on the uh, City Council, and I think he is a asset to that uh, committee, and I support him fully. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor Gens. Seeing no other lights, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Resolution 94 from the Public Works and Facilities and the Finance and Administration Committees, a resolution authorizing Director of Parks to apply for grant funding from WDNR to be used for trail improvements in Petrifying Springs Park. Facilities, Elberman, yes. Grady, yes. O'Day, yes. Gilmore, excused. Wambolt, excused. Bostrom, yes. Franco, yes. Finance, Rose, yes. Ron Frederick, excused. Gens, yes. Kabicki, yes. Retzloff, yes. Esposito, yes. Dodge, yes. Supervisor Alverman, you have the floor. I move uh, Resolution 94. I have a first by Supervisor Alverman and a second by Supervisor Rose. Supervisor Alverman. Thank you, Madam Chair. This is a uh, 
uh, permission uh, to authorize our representatives to uh, apply for a WDNR grant. Uh, it's a stewardship grant. We've had uh, very good success in the past with these. Uh, in 2012, we started uh, restoring the Pike River watershed within Petrifying Springs Park. This is all part of that plan. This is restoring the hiking trails uh, in sensitive areas and along the watershed. The uh, total cost of the project uh, would be uh, $320,000. The grant would be for half of that amount. Uh, we do have uh, and did uh, pass that amount in this year's budget. So if we do receive this grant, there's no additional funds required. Thank you. So I would ask for your approval, and this should conclude uh, the work that we are doing along the Pike River there. Thank you, Supervisor Alverman. Seeing no lights, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Outgoing Supervisor comments. Mm -hmm. Do you want to announce or do you? No, I can do it. Okay, okay we're going to move on to supervisor comments. Um, this is for supervisors that are leaving the board if they have anything that they would like to say. Supervisor Dodge, you have the floor. Thank you. I first want to thank the voters of the 5th District for allowing me to serve with them over the past six years. I also need to thank all of those in the administration who were there to help me when I needed it. And I thank the members of the county board for their opinions and, in the end, their friendship. Representation is a responsibility I took seriously. The most difficult part was following up on some complaints or questions of those in authority. I followed up on all complaints, investigating them thoroughly. Some hard feelings existed, but I felt it was my duty. Continue to ask those tough questions. Also, a very well done is deserved by the administration and the county board for their progress dealing with drug addiction and mental health, resulting in alternatives to incarceration. Another compliment is for the Veterans Court. I would ask the board in the future to continue the very good job they have done. In addition, please continue to support our veteran service officer and his requests to better serve our veterans in upcoming budgets. In closing, I did not seek re-election because retirement and travel conflict with my responsibility to attend all the meetings. Travel and family plans will not allow me to devote the time I feel is necessary to properly perform the representative tasks involved. Therefore, I wish you well and God bless you all. Thank you, Supervisor Dodge. Supervisor Bostrom, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, had the opportunity to um, participate in six elections over the course of uh, the last 10 years. Four of them I won, uh, won two of them I lost. I'm going out with a uh, winning record, so I, I, I feel pretty proud about that. <laughs> um, but uh, like Supervisor uh, Dodge, uh, there's many people I'd like to thank. You know, first and foremost, the voters, not just the ones that voted for me, uh, all the voters. Over the course of 10 years, I had the opportunity to meet a very diverse uh, array of people and uh, just some God honest good people I've met that, that are still friends to this day and I, I expect to be friends for quite some time. So for that, I'm very thankful. Um, the staff and department heads here in the county, a wonderful group of people that I, I truly enjoyed working with and uh, learned a lot from and I truly will miss. And I, I guess it was you know kind of interesting that, that we end tonight with uh, the presentation that we had before, I, you, you could not have a better presentation to talk about culture and how important it is. And the culture that is, is very obvious here with the, among staff uh, and, and leadership here at the county is, is truly something very special. And it's something that this board needs to protect moving forward. Um, and, th and that culture starts at the top. Uh, my next thanks to the county exec 
uh, for his friendship, uh, for his guidance. I truly appreciate it. Um, I, I will always be here for you if you need me, as you've been there for me in the past. To Chairperson Brunig and this board, I know when I joined this board two years ago, you weren't sure what to expect from me as I wasn't sure what to expect from you. Uh, but I'd like to think over the course of the last two years that uh, we've grown uh, to mutually respect each other. And I, I know that we always didn't agree in the past, but I, I hope I presented myself uh, with respect to you. Um, my wife, many thanks to her because she has endured so much uh, in the way of garbage um, that one who um, loves their partner should not be expected to endure. And I know she is very thankful that I not, did not win re-election. And um, um, she will certainly encourage me to stay retired. But you never know. Maybe in two years, she might get sick of me and send me back out on the campaign trail. And then finally, to my pals, my closest confidence, you know who you are. You know why I'm doing this. Your friendship, your fellowship mean more to me than you can imagine. You've always been there for me. I will always be there for you. And with that, I bid you a farewell. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor Bostrom. Okay, since this is my last one also, um, I'm just going to run down a few um, numbers here. Um, first of all, District 23 and 21. I took care of both of them. First when we had 28 supervisors, then we moved down to 23 supervisors. So it's been a challenge having two separate districts. Um, sometimes the people get confused. 12 years, 271 county board meetings. And I've only missed three. Yeah. 407 committee meetings, missing two of them. 86 subcommittee meetings, and I missed two. And, sorry. Okay. Through all of that, I've endured my daughter's surgery, 57 softball games, 23 choir concerts, six plays, nine trap beats, and my last of 27 IEP meetings. Never missing one for my children. It's not an easy job. If anyone thinks that they can sit here and do this and balance your family, it is not an easy job. And I see Dustin standing over there. <laughs> um, it's been difficult, 12 years with my kids. My daughter is so thankful that I'm leaving. Um, my son, not so much. He knows that he's gonna have to do more chores and I'm gonna be there watching him now. <laughs> So I just want to thank a few people before I leave. Um, former Chairman Mark Malinaro and Joe Clark, my mentors. I knew nothing when I came on the board, and those two taught me a lot, and they continue to teach me to this day. My Vice Chair, who has been my rock for the past two years. Thank you, Dan. Our County Clerk, Mary. <laughs> she kept me on the straight and narrow on a lot of things. Um, our administration, when I first started on here, I will tell you people, the first thing that you need to do is get to know the administration. They will teach you everything. They are incredible people and they have all of the information that you will need to do a good job here. The county executive, we've had our moments, um, but we've always worked through a lot of it, and uh, I'm happy that uh, we can end as friends. Um, <laughs> thank you to the supervisors that have helped me along the way. Um, Jeff, 
I'm going to miss you. Sitting in the back, texting me during the meetings. <laughs> not that we had text. Um, and last but not least, I want to thank my children. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> thank you. The county clerk has plaques for those that are leaving, so don't move yet. I just don't want to do a journey and die in the aisle. Right. right. Okay. So why don't you do the plaques first? Yeah. yeah. Let's go do the plaques at first. Oh, we're doing the plaques. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, I'm. Gonna do it. <laughs> Supervisor Dodge, please come forward. Rick Dodge, County Board Supervisor from 2012 to 2018, in appreciation of your six years of service to Kenosha County. Thank you. Steve, Steve Bostrom, Supervisor 2016 to 2018, in appreciation of your 2000 year, uh, two, two years. About 2000. <laughs> your wife would kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your service, Thank Steve. Thank you. Um, huh, it must be a female thing. Um, our first woman chair person in the history of the county board. I want to congratulate you for that and for working with you all these past two years and the last 12 years. It's been a pleasure. Um, this is to Kim Brunig, our county board supervisor from 2006 to 2016, first county board chairwoman, county board chairwoman from 2016 to 2018, and hers is a little different, another 12 years of service, and we have a gavel for her years as a chair. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Can we have an approval of the April 4th, 2018 minutes by Supervisor Rose? Supervisor Rose, you have the floor. Thank you. I would move the approval of the minutes as written. Second. First by Supervisor Rose and a second by Supervisor Bostrom. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. A motion to adjourn Sendine. I have a motion by Supervisor Dodge and a second by Supervisor Kabicki to adjourn Sendai. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? We're adjourned. We're going to take a break again. Mary will need a short break in order to put out name tags. <laughs> oh.